I like won't upload on YouTube for a while or I won't sit in front of cam I won't sit in front of a camera for a long time and then when I do I just don't know how to do it anymore. Hi everybody. My name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, before we get into everything, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would just mean so much to me. Follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. So, hi. It's only been a month, but it feels it's this has been the longest month of my life. <laughs> And I just kind of wanted to talk to y'all about like what's been going on because I wasn't going to start like recording for a while. Um, but then I, the spirit moved me tonight. So I am going to, I'm, I'm recording. If it's all over the place, that's what we have editing for. So hopefully it's not all over the place in post. So I'm just sitting on my bed, I'm all comfortable, we're chilling, little pillow talk moment. So, I have clearly moved, um, I'm, I'm in a different vicinity. Yeah, so that's what's been going on, I've been moving, I started at a new job. And yeah, I don't know, I don't have like, I just like wrote down all these different things that have been like going on, and we're just gonna go through it and talk about it, you know? Since I have been gone, Kelly Clarkson moment, I've gotten like a bunch of new subs. So hello, thanks for being here for the ride, for this fun ride that is me. So yes, I am in the process of moving. I'm still doing it. It's not done, so I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna be posting every Thursday again. I know it's not gonna happen. Um, I'm hoping to do like more bi-weekly instead of weekly. We'll see. Like I said, I'm just doing this right now because I can. Um, I hopefully want to make like more content, not just updates shit soon. So yeah, I've been, I've been moving. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I live in a place now where I'm more accepted for like me and who I am and what I bring to the table than where I did live. So that is definitely putting me in a better mental space, but it's still hard just because of like what, what I'm dealing with, which is moving that's a hard thing to do and the only people that are moving is me my mother and my little brother who is 12 so it is hard it is hard to do all of this with just the three of us but we are getting it done and you know we're a bunch of badasses and I'm gonna give ourselves a little pat on the back for that but yeah that's that's what's been that that that's what's up, dog, and um, I'm really happy about that. So that's cool. Another thing I've been dealing with is, you know, I used to live in a very full house. I have so many siblings and two parents living in the house, and now I'm down to one parent and only one sibling living in the house. You know, some things are personal, but my siblings have just gone to school. So that's been weird. I'm a very family oriented person. I think I get into that a lot in my tattoo tour video. So if you wanna hear me gush about my family, you can watch that. You know, it's been hard. I'm very close with them. So it's been a smaller group and it's fun. You know, I'm having a great time with my little brother, my mom, you know, they are my biggest support group. But you know, I had that going on. I was helping them move and um, just kind of like hanging out with them a lot and spending all of my time that I usually would spend on YouTube with them was a big thing that was going on. And also just like friends. Um, I'm kind of at the age now where all of my friends are kind of like, you know, we're getting our adult jobs and we're all not gonna see each other a lot. So I'm spending a lot of time with them. So yeah, Maddie's just been taking a little like her time break and I have started a new job. Um, I, I needed a day job because, you know, love you all so dearly, but YouTube don't pay the bills 
and mommy, mommy needs her bills paid, right? This is gonna be funny if you guys have watched my other videos. I got a job at Starbucks because I go there every day as it is. So I was just like, fuck it, like let's work there. And it's been great. I mean, I only had my first day today, hence why I look like a greasy mess. Um, but no, I already really enjoy it. And um, yeah, so that's been a thing. I just started that and I'm only working part-time there. Um, I'm sacrificing a lot of money I could be getting because I still want to focus on YouTube. You know, if I worked there full time, I could not do this right now. I would not have the energy to do this right now. But with that also means I cannot have my nails. So, um, I figured we could have a little um, nail funeral right now. Um, I have my nail tips here. Funny story about me saving these. I was showing these to a friend I had over and um, when I picked one of them up to show him, it just fell. One of them fell into the trash can. So I think that was my like um, intuition and my spirit guides telling me that, yeah, girl, you cannot afford these anymore. And also, Daddy Starbucks said no to these. So, you know, a moment of silence for my nails. Thank you. No more nails. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Now we all have to look at my baby hands. Um, it's whatever. I can do a lot more things. I have noticed that. That's been kind of interesting. Um, I, I was always a huge, I always stood up for my nails and I was like, I can do all the things you guys can do and more with my nails. But like the fact that I can like crack open a can and like take my SD card out of my camera easily. I mean, I was able to do it, but it was just hard. So yeah, whatever. I don't have my nails. That's, you know, that, that was pretty heartbreaking. Me and my nail lady um, were almost like crying when we were like, okay, goodbye. Cause like, you know, I see myself hopefully staying at Starbucks for a little bit. Um, and you know, the only time I'll be able to get them back is when I have a job that'll allow me to have them. So now we're gonna move right along to talking about the fun shit, which is like my mental health. So as you guys, with the last time I talked to you guys or the last time you guys saw me, um, I was going through a lot of shit. Um, I was still really in the hard part of dealing with a breakup of a three and a half year relationship. Um, and that is, you know, hard to do. And also like keep up with all the other things that you were doing. So that is something I was really like trying to take care of myself and work on myself with. Cause you know, that's usually like a huge blow to your mental health when something like that happens. So I had that, um, I also lost one of my pets that I've had since I was five or six. So that was another hit. And um, on top of that, I was running into serious money problems because uh, like I said, YouTube isn't cutting it for me and you know, I have expenses. So I was taking some time out to just work through a lot of things that I needed to work through for my brain in for it to be you know functioning correctly right so we have to um you know do that as adults and realize when we need to take five and um yeah and i've been doing so much better uh so i've been really getting into yoga a lot and just like general exercise um, so that's been something I was like working on a lot and just getting like in tune with my body and treating it better, you know, because I didn't realize like how much I wasn't like serving myself, I guess is the best way to put it, um, because of my self-esteem. So I was working on that a lot and just like, you know, basic self-care things that I haven't ever done almost like my whole life. There's some things I never do, like did and just being nice to myself and like, you know, positive affirmations and like telling myself that I am a beautiful person and trying to lose like the self-deprecating comments, stuff like that. I've been practicing that a lot. 
um, and also meditating. Um, I know it's like definitely a thing that needs to be practiced a lot and that was something I really wanted to perfect. I'm still not perfect at it. I feel like you never get perfect at meditating but you know just like grounding techniques because you know your girl has anxiety and I never really knew how to cope with it I guess so that was just something that I wanted to really work on and um, getting better with therapy I was missing a lot of therapy um, and I wasn't going as much as I would like to and really connecting with my therapist I wasn't really opening up to her um, so doing that and spending a lot of my time not a lot of my time, but the time I did have with her, like really putting 200% into it and really trying to work on what I got going on in here. Um, and also being medicated, I was medicated. I have been medicated for a long time for my issues, not issues, the inconveniences I was born with. <laughs> I was not medicating myself properly for some things because sometimes you feel like you're stronger than that or you don't need to because you're like, well, this and that and the other thing. I want to work through it myself. I feel like if I have to just like take medication, then that's just a cop out. Um, and I needed to work on that. That was another thing I really needed to work on, like taking especially my anxiety medication. Um, I always avoided taking it because, you know, Sometimes when you have anxiety, you just, you're like, no, I want to fix it. I want me to fix it, raw dog in it, you know? And sometimes that's just not how it is. And that's not, that's not a bad thing that like, that's okay. You know, it's okay if you need to take medication, you know? My way of looking at it is if you break your leg, you go to the doctor and they do what they need to do. They give you a cast and they give you pain medication for the pain your brain is in pain so take the medication you're not that's not a wrong thing to do right anyways i'm going off and also just avoiding burnout um i was getting really burnt out with youtube and then especially with the moving um as you guys saw in my um room tour video my last video i posted of my old room um i I'm like super into tarot cards and stuff and I've gotten like more into them and the cards kept telling me <laughs> they kept telling me like stop stop trying to juggle legitimately 20 things at once because it's not going to happen you are going to burn out and I did burn out really bad um, because the moving came on really quick becoming broke came on really quick um, losing half my household not losing they moving and not being able to see like some of my built-in best friends every day it was just a lot it was a lot and something had to go and you know that had to be YouTube for the time being you know so with all of these things combined little miss ma'am is now in a better headspace and I'm really happy about that um, so I'm hoping I can make better content for you guys. I definitely want to branch out and do different things. Um, I know somebody commented and they do want me to talk about my tarot decks and oracle decks and maybe do some readings for you guys because um, that's something that has been really helping me a lot is like practicing that and I feel like I'm really getting good at it so I would love to share that with you guys. Um, so I think that would be fun. Um, I'm obviously going to stick with the makeup and with the tattoo and piercing videos, whatever you guys want to see, because, you know, that's like something I love. That's a huge hobby for me. Um, and I would like to get into, I hate calling it like my nerdy side, because like that sounds so annoying. Um, but, you know, I would love to talk about gaming and anime on here as well, if you guys would be interested. Um, because uh, all of the content I personally watch on YouTube is like gaming and anime stuff, like Let's Play channels or anime review stuff. So I think that would be a fun thing for me to do um, because that is what I personally watch the most. That's it. Um, that's what's been going on. Um, a lot of it right now that I'm dealing with is kind of like, you know, learning to get back on my feet after the pandemic because the pandemic and being stuck at home 
with just like a small handful of people for a year and a half definitely gave me some social anxiety I never had before. Um, I was always a very extroverted person, especially when I was in college. Um, and not communicating with people like at all during this time has made it very crippling. Like my social anxiety is so insane. So that's been something I've been trying to work through lately. You know, just going out into public places in general. Um, I'm not going to self-diagnose and say I'm agoraphobic or anything like that. But you know what I mean. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. I mean, it's something the whole world went through. Um, it's hard to go from like, you know, doing nothing and trying to stay at home and be safe to just like going back into the open world, you know? And we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna be great. And that's pretty much it. That's all That's all I have to say on my end. Um, I hope you guys appreciated this because um, I know it's, it's been radio silence on my YouTube for a month. You guys are all super great and thank you for being super cool and super dope. And yeah, I'm gonna be making more actual content once I get like my schedule down. Because like I said, this is my first day of like work. And now I have to like, you know, figure out like good times for editing, recording and all of that. But I'm slowly starting to get into that. And then once I like completely close the book on the moving chapter, because like I said, I just have a couple more things I need to get here. We're all, we're all straight. We're all peaches and cream, dude. So yeah, I will see you guys soon, 100%. And I appreciate you guys. And um, like you guys actually have been like reaching out to me a lot on Instagram. That's something else I wanted to mention really quick. And I've really appreciated that during this entire time. Um, never be afraid to talk to me. I love talking to you guys. You are all very sweet peas. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now and clean myself because I feel so greasy. I will see you guys when I see you. All right. I love you all. Goodbye.